Do you like scary rides and thrills? Well, we are going to show you several rides in the world. Hold on tight to your couch. Here are the most dangerous attractions in the world. Don't let the smile on this young man's face fool you. The swing at the shot over canyon is no fun when you're on it. Well, except for the more daring and extreme thrill seekers. Perched several meters above a 75 kilometer long river in the Otago region of the New Zealand South Island. The swing is without a doubt one of the most sensational swings in the world. In the category, the most terrifying swings in the world, here's the one in the Grand Canyon. Located in the cliffs of the Grand Canyon, almost a quarter mile above the Colorado River at Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park, the swing promises thrills and adrenaline rushes. You may also see your whole life flash before you as you soar through the air. 121 meters in 5 seconds at 137 kilometers per hour. What kind of people would try this attraction? Well, there are some who likes it. The Lex Luthor Drop Off Doom Tower is located at Six Flags Magic Mountain in California. It currently holds the second place in the world for the tallest drop tower in the world, just after the Sumanjaro Tower, which is 20 feet taller. It held the top spot from 2012 to 2014. You really have to be purged to do it. Get ready to make the biggest jump of your life jumping almost 90 meters above the void, hanging from a rope at the Moses Mabeda Stadium in Durban, South Africa. Believe me, it's the same feeling you had when you proposed, if not more. A real adrenaline boost. But you still need to have strong enough legs to climb the 352 steps that led to the bridge. <laughs> Good luck! Well, from a distance, it looks like they are having a great time. But those tourists who came to the Fantasia land in Brühl, Germany for a thrill ride will not forget the Talokan ride. I'm sure they already regret going on it. Would it be appropriate to say that they will come out of it completely turned around? It's 4.3 kilometers that you'll have to walk above the void. When you start the Sentiero Atresato del Colodri, a short via ferrata above Arco. It will take you half a day of your life. Or maybe even your whole life. <laughs> Joking aside, I hear that this sensational tourist attraction is perfectly safe. There are even children who try to admire the roofs of Arco, Monte Baldo to the southeast and Lake Garda to the south. After that, you'll just have to be a little braver than these kids. Don't be fooled by their location. The roller coaster of the Alton Towers Resort Park are not really English. On the contrary, to be able to handle the verticality of this ride and its hair-raising turns, you have to be a real tough guy. Going to Nicaragua, climbing the Cerro Negro volcano and at 700 meter under a blazing sun, finding yourself at the top to put on a cosmonaut suit in order to slide down on your buttocks and fry them on the way. And paying $30 for that. No thanks, I'll pass. The Air Max 360 is located at the Fantasy Island Park in the UK. It's true that it guarantees you thrills. Messed up hair, 15 minutes of shaking, a good dose of adrenaline. But the question is, will you see life the same way afterwards? As far as I'm concerned, I don't think so. The Air Max is also inviting itself to Pleasure Beach on the Great Yarmouth Coast, to the delight of thrill-seeking holidaymakers. However, this time you'll just have to make sure that your swimsuit fits well. Because I'm afraid that it won't hold in the wind. Otherwise, it's not only the thrills you'll feel, but also the shame of your life and a freezing cold where you didn't expect. If you like challenges, attractions that give you the shakes, and you love it in spite of that, you will love the side deck Chicago at Willis Towers, a huge glass box that hovers more than 400 meters above the ground. The real one, not the glass one, and offers a panoramic view of a good part of the city. Well, to be honest, you'll be so out of it by then that you won't care about the city, but rather how you get back to the ground. Quick question, what is the most terrifying fake octopus in the world? 
Wrong answer. No, it's not Carlos and SpongeBob SquarePants, but the most terrifying octopus is the Stratosphere Tower Skypod in Las Vegas. A more than sensational ride that will make you see the attractions in a different way. Needless to say, once you've been on it, no other ride in the world will be more worth your time. Just seeing someone ride a sky bike is an extreme experience in itself. So riding one, I can't even imagine what it feels like. One of the most visited destinations in Peru and Cusco. And if it is so popular, it is because the site proposes this exceptional attraction in all points of view. Well, especially seen from above. Imagine you slide on your bicycle along a cable to 60 meters of the ground on the most abysmal void. Supported by a vulgar rope. You really have to keep your head cool and your eyes wide open on the handlebars. A good night's sleep perched at several hundred meters of altitude, attached to a safety harness, itself attached to the side of a mountain. It is an unheard of experience, something unique, sensational, but an advice. Go when you have nothing to regret this life, because on top of that, you have to unpack and repack your sleeping bag. Do you realize that? What is the world coming to? Cave on the Winds is a cave in the Pikes Peak region of Colorado. The site offers you the opportunity to take a sensational ride. All you have to do is sit in the chair, fasten your seatbelt and pray that God keeps you alive when you are dropped into the terrifying void of the cliff. A word of advice, if you plan to visit the Stratosphere X Scream ride in Las Vegas and take that little ride to the top of the stray sky pod at a height of about 264 meters, which by the way is the highest ride in the world, bring earplugs, because yes, it will scream. A lot even. I'm not talking about you, but about your neighbor, because you will be so scared that you won't have the strength to scream. Well, if you can't fly in the air, the Chinese have found a solution to spend a nice moment above the void. For example, cross the point of the Wansheng or Division Park located in the city of Chongqing, in the southwest of China. Afterwards, if you are lucky like this gentleman, whose safety harness accidentally came off while he was jumping from board to board, you'll have your life saved at the end. So, shall we jump? If you dream of an out-of-the-ordinary walk, a breathtaking place, and not only the breath, by the way, a place that you will never forget, then I suggest you to visit this magnificent cliff at Mount Hua, located near the city of Huajin, in the province of Shaanxi, about 120 kilometers east of Qi'an, in China. Don't worry, there's enough space on the board to place your two feet but no more. This nice man dressed as a mortician will explain what you need to do to have a great and entertaining ride. If you're the kind of person who can't stand crowded Monday night buses and would rather die and be alone in your grave than share your square footage at the beach with someone else, skip it. Swimming in the world's largest wave pool in South Korea will be more of a bath in hell than a rejuvenation bath for you. Admiring crocodiles in your local zoo is one thing, learning about their natural life on Nat Geo is another, and seeing them up close, like really close to only a few centimeters, is really another dimension. In Australia, a tourist attraction called The Cage of Death, uh, original name, offers you the possibility to see these reptiles by diving into the water with them. I know it doesn't mean much to you, but just in case, the attraction is located at the Crocosaurus Cove. Walk up some stairs instead of taking the elevator. You're the first to encourage exercise. Now, let's see if you'll feel the same way when you have to climb the 3,922 steps to the top of the island of Oahu in the Hawaiian archipelago, which are called the Stairs to Heaven. You will certainly have to break a few drops of sweat to get there, but apparently the panoramic view offered at the top will make you forget everything. You really have to love extreme sensations and love playing with death to bungee jump from the Royal George Bridge in the United States. You'll have 321 meters to jump, enough time to realize your stupidity and tell you that you could have listened to your mother. Corona Arc is a natural sandstone arc 
located near Moab, Utah, near the Colorado River Canyon. To get there, you first have to hike 2.4 kilometers. And once there, you can eventually try to have a heart attack by swimming 33.5 meters above the void. Who wouldn't dream of bungee jumping at least once in their life? After all, thousands of people do it in the world. And next to a parachute jump, it's really a piece of cake. But wait until you see this attraction located near the city of Pucon in Chile. It's the craziest bungee jump in the world. And the most expensive too. As you jump headfirst from a helicopter over the crater of the volcano Villarica. $10,000 for a descent to hell. That's a bit expensive, don't you think? Look at these pictures, I'm sure you have goosebumps just looking at this. Now imagine yourself sitting here in this booth. Imagine yourself taking a ride in the Skyloop Spinning Turbine Amusement Ride 4K 360 degrees. That's for sure something else. A word of advice, go on an empty stomach. I'm just saying. You can kayak anywhere you go in the world. It's not a very dangerous sport in itself. But in Alaska, things are very different. In Alaska, if you ask to kayak, you may be taken to the vibrant Inside Passage, one of the best places to watch humpback whales while kayaking. You'll be able to see these huge creatures up close and personal, believe me. A sensational experience you'll never forget. If you're the type of person who likes rides and attractions, this one is sure to please. But being inside the Sorbing Ball in New Zealand is not the same as being outside and enjoying the show from afar. Because even though it may look like fun, it's also a game that requires a lot of self-control. You'd better have a strong stomach. Because to climb a steep slope in an air mattress where you're really short of oxygen, you have to really like it. Imagine yourself crossing a huge bridge over a terrifying void, like 40 meters above the ground. Now that your hair is standing on the end, imagine that the bridge is made entirely of glass, that it is transparent and that it lets you see everything that is happening below your feet. And to add a layer, once you have entered the bridge, your ordeal will last the time it will take you to cross the 520 meters long. Welcome to the world's largest footbridge in China. Now, tell us in the comments what you think about these dangerous attractions. Would you be willing to do them? Which one do you fear the most? Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.